Good morning, Floss Tube. I'm Christy, and this is my channel, Java Girl Stitches, and this is Floss Tube number 62. So, welcome back, everybody. Um, it's been a little while, and I am so happy to be back. Um, it is actually my four year, I guess it's Floss Aversary. Um, so, I have been doing this for four years, which is crazy to me. Um, it's been a long time. Um, so, I am so grateful for everybody that has been here. Um, since the beginning of my journey um, has stayed. New subscribers that have found me, thank you so much for joining me and um, sharing in my stitching adventures and my life. Um, I appreciate you guys all so much and thank you for making it a wonderful four years. Um, so, uh, just a quick life update. Um, much better things are so good here um so i have been uh, doing a lot of grandma babysitting duty which um is very exhausting i didn't realize that that it was gonna um be so exhausting but worth every second of it so i've got to spend lots of time with her um with my little granddaughter clover um i think i mentioned in my last video um my son chase has a girlfriend um they actually dated back in junior high um, and she had to, she moved. Um, so they broke up and it was a very hard breakup. Um, and then um, they actually have been together since November and they just didn't tell me. Um, and cause um, until I guess they were ready. And so um, they're like perfect for each other and he's so happy. And she actually has a, um, a little girl and she is nine months old so she has brought her over here and she's the cutest little thing ever and it has been so wonderful having a house entirely filled with girls because it's always been boys and i love my boys but it's nice to like we're out um outnumbering them now and um so the other day there was all of us all of there's like six of all of us girls together and dave walks comes in and he's like i better be careful what i say because i'm gonna get lynched and it's like mm -hmm, we have taken over now <clears throat> but it's been really really nice um and then john's girlfriend she's over here a lot too so my house is filled with um teenagers i guess they wouldn't even be teenagers they're almost 20 all the time and i absolutely love it so it has been wonderful and my son chase who is n he's not very social he is online but to see him come out of his shell um and he's so good with clover and he's so good with his girlfriend's little girl and just to see that side of him is as a mom is just amazing because I'm seeing sides of him I've never seen before, which are just wonderful. And he's not much of a talker and he comes out and talks to us all the time now. Um, the other day, he, um, I had them all in the living room and they were, um, and Chase is just talking forever. And he's talking about all the things that they used to do, like their memories of stuff they did, you know, in high school and stuff. And I was like, and I mean, and John's over there, like with his, he's like his mouth dropped over near, and he's like, you're throwing us under the bus. And Chase's like, it was a long time ago that we were bad like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, but it was just, it was just cute. And it was so nice to have them all together. Um, and just a home full of just love and wonderful chaos. <laughs> so it has been really, really good here. And I am feeling so much better. My hormones have totally calmed down. Um, so it's been really good. This has been a great start to the new year. And um, I couldn't be happier or more blessed right now. <clears throat> so that's pretty much what's been going on. I hope that you guys are having a great start to the new year also um, and getting a lot of stitching done. I didn't get a whole lot done when I was babysitting. Um, babysitting equals no stitching <laughs> or finishing. So the first couple weeks of January, I didn't get a whole lot done, but um, I have um, been able to now because um, I'm not babysitting her right now. So um, let's see. So yes, four year floss, floss anniversary. So I am gonna have giveaways at the end for that. And we are gonna jump right into stitching. 
so I do have FFOs, I have whips, I have plans, um, lots of fun stuff to share with you guys today. So grab your coffee or your tea or whatever you want to drink, margarita, no judgment here, um, and uh, let's get into it. So I have um, my Valentine's Day finishes that I was able to get done. So I'm going to share those with you first. So the first one that I did is Love You to the Moon and Back, and that was by The Housewives. And this is how I finished this one. So it was stitched on chalkboard Ada, and this white um, heart came from the Dollar Tree. These beads also came from the Dollar Tree in the shape of a heart. And so, oops, what, um, they were just plain beads, like wood colored. So what I did is I spray painted them red and I glued them onto um, the white heart. And then I just um, rickrack fabric on the check fabric. And then on top, I have some ribbon bows. <laughs> and then um, these felt hearts, um, I wanna say I got them at Michael's. And then I have just these little sticker heart that I stuck in the middle. It's a felt heart too. I, those I cannot find anymore. Um, I still had a couple left from last year. But these bigger hearts are still available at Michael's. So there is my first finish. And that was a fun one to stitch. I love the pink truck. Okay. My next piece, I oh, let's do this one. This one is from the Love Notes by Brenda Gervais. I've done, I did one last year, and so um, I really wanted to stitch this one this year. So here is my finish on this one. So this board, I left it like this on the back so you could see. This comes from Hobby Lobby. It has a little heart um, cut out in the top. It comes stained just like that. But what I did is I spray painted it white, and then um, I did leave off the border, the white border, because I. You know, you guys know I'm not really a border person. And so what I did is I just mounted on sticky board, got the Rick Rack. I still had a little bit of this fabric left, um, which I don't have any more left now. And I don't remember where I got it. I need to find some more. Um, so it matches all my other, the other two Brenda Gervais ones I've done. And then on top, in that space where there was a heart cut out, I just stuck a heart button. And then I have three heart buttons down here and then a bow and I used the rose and some twine because my other one has a rose on it too. So I kind of wanted it to match the other two. And this one was super fun to stitch and very, very quick. So there's that one. Let's move these out of the way. Okay, my next one um, was the Snowed in Love by the Housewives also. And here's my finish on this one. So this snow globe wood piece is from Paisley and Polka Dots. And I knew I wanted to use it. And I was thinking um, when I got it, I wanted to do like a winter finish on it. Um, but I wasn't stitching winter this year. So I decided I am going to stitch the Valentine's Day one snow globe and I bet you it'll go in there perfectly. And then I went to, um, I was checking out her, um, Cause she has done this too and i did not know that it's not on her instagram but if you go to her um her website she had it done too and i was like oh great minds think alike so i love this idea i know she's done before um the other um months of with the snow glow but i thought let's do a valentine's day one that'll be kind of fun so i spray painted it all white and then um and it's cool because this piece back here, it's separate. So you can just wrap the fabric around it, which I was a little concerned about because it was wood. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get that around there, but it actually works really well. And then with this, I put batting. This is another piece of wood separate. So, cause I'm thinking, do I have to cut this out? No, all you, so I stuck batting on, glued it to the wood. And then I put my piece on here. And the reason I did that is because um, so my, the batting kind of holds the fabric, your stitch piece in place. And so it's easier for me to flip it over and then glue it. Um, so that, and then I decided instead of red Rick Rack, which I had on there and I tore it off cause I kept debating between the blue and the red. 
And I was like, I think it needs the blue just to pull out the little bit of blue. So if you can see, there is some blue rickrack around there. And then just a matching um, blue bow and red bow. And then again, another little uh, felt heart. And so I absolutely love this. This is so cute. And um, it makes the just the cutest finish. So there's that one. Okay. My next one. This was my favorite to stitch this year. This is my favorite of um, It's Tiny Town, the Valentine's Day one. And this is, I mean, I love all of them. I really love the 4th of July one. But this one, the colors that she picked in here are the most perfect pinks. I did not change any colors. Um, and I absolutely loved every second of stitching this. So here is my finish on the Valentine's Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. So it is stitched on 27 count uh, vintage country mocha Linda fabric. So this board, it's by Artful Minds and I did get it at, um, at Walmart. So what I did is I um, attached it to the board, um, a little bit of fabric. I don't know if you can see, but so I have white rickrack and then I have the light pink rickrack around the edge of it. And then I got two knobs that came from Hobby Lobby and you can get them when they're on 50% off. So I waited till then and I mean, they're not that expensive, but you know, I tell my husband that, well, I, everything I buy is on sale. So to me, that makes up for it, um, for buying so much. So he attached those for me and then I just have my bows up there. And again, another felt heart and another little tiny felt heart on there. And I love it. I love these tiny towns. They're just fantastic. So there's my finish on that one. And I have one more Valentine's Day finish. Okay, so this one is called um, Amore Vero, and it's by Croquetta Go Go. And I saw it and I absolutely loved it. And here is my finish on this one. So, this frame is actually a chicken wire frame and it had like a picture of a chicken in there, which I would have rather used it for something that has, you know, one of my chicken finishes, but it was perfect for this. So I'm like, we're just going to use it. So what I did is on this piece also is stitched on 27 count Linda fabric. I did change the colors though. I did keep the gray, but I took the pinks and the red that I used in tiny town and I put them in here because I wanted them to match. And I will put that in the show notes, my color changes, if you're interested. <clears throat> um, so what I did is you can see the back part right here. I did stick some sticky board um, just to that piece to bump it up a little bit um, and then mounted it um, with the rickrack, the red check fabric, and then the pink fabric to go all the way around. And then I added a rose at the bottom and then the cute little banner came from Hobby Lobby. And so I just cut that apart. And I know if you notice, there's no bows on this one except for little tiny, tiny bows. Um, but I like it just like that. Um, so yes, you can do finishes. I can do finishes without major bows. And I just, I thought it was perfect just the way it is because I really wanted to use the banner. So yeah, just two tiny little bows, which just came from the the same um, twine is there. So that one was a lot of fun to do too. Okay, those are all my FFOs for the day to share with you. So I have gotten a couple other finishes done. So on the 25th, I said that I wanted to stitch Christmas. And so I, I didn't get much stitching done on the 25th, but when Fiona, and then Fiona came over and we just sat and talked all day. We did not even do any stitching whatsoever. And it was awesome. It was just such a good day to spend together um, with friend and just, it was wonderful. It was the best day. Um, so, but after she left, I did finish this because this takes no time at all. And it's another one from the Prairie Schooler, uh, Mary Mini Surprise. And these stitch up, like I said, so quick. So I did that one. And I did not put the border in there or the little line bits around it. I just wanted it by itself. And again, stitched. This is my last piece, you guys, of soft um, Monaco tea dyed. That's all I got left. So I'm going to squeeze as many of these as I can in there. 
and then the stiff stuff um, that I have, I have um, soaked it in cold water because I don't want it to shrink and I let it dry, but um, it's still a little stiff. So I think I kind of need to do that again. Let's put that over there. Okay, my next finish I did have done was, I love this one. It's the Chicken Club Cornelius. Love, love, love. And when I saw people stitching this, they were done in like two days or a day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how are they stitching that fast? It really doesn't take that long. And I love him. He's so cute. Um, and he is stitched with all the same call for colors. And he is stitched on the call for um, fabric, which is a 25 count um, barley. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then <clears throat> um, I do have an idea of how I'm going to finish them, but um, I have to wait till I stitch the other ones and then I'll show you guys because I need to have more than one for my idea. And then this cute bag. Yes, this is how my floss is. I, for being a person with OCD, it's so funny because Anna, like everything on her, um, her little board, every time she pulls out floss, she rolls it up and it looks so nice. And this is what mine looks like. Um, but this amazing bag is from Dot Dot Goose and she sent this to me and it's perfect. It matches um, Cornelius and so that's where all my little um, chickens will be going. So thank you, Denise. I love it. Okay. Um, okay, let's get to my whips. I have quite a few. Well, not that many, but um, okay. Let's see. I want to make sure I'm doing okay here. Um, so the first one is Farm Fresh by Cherry Hill Stitchery. And of course it's chicken, so you guys know I was going to stitch it. And so this is my progress. I just was working on it last night again, so there's hoop marks. This is what I uh, have so far. So um, the only thing I changed is the letters... Instead of in gray, I changed them to Classic Colorworks Black Coffee because there is black in the middle of the, um, the flowers. And it's stitched on 28 count white Monaco and I love it. So much fun to stitch. Um, so my next one is a new start that I started on Sunday for my Sabbath stitching. And in my Facebook group, or I shouldn't say it's just not just mine. I'm sorry. Anna, Fiona, and I, our Facebook group. I have got a lot of questions um, or just comments of you want ideas for Sabbath stitching. So I am going to do a little video this week um, and it will be on the Facebook group. Um, and I will show you everything that I have stitched and ideas that I have for Sabbath st stitching. So if you're interested, you can join the Facebook group and I will post a video later this week. So this is what I started, which is, um, is it heart? Hands to work, hearts to God. And this is by Little House Needleworks. So I started this one this Sunday and that's how far I've gotten. I am using all the call for colors um, and it's stitched on 28 count um, light taupe. And that's what all my sheet virtues are also stitched on. So I thought I'd kind of do them this, do it the same. And I absolutely love that one. Okay. My next whip is, I'm going to have to fold this over so you can't see the actual pattern. But um, Tina, and she is Teamager, Team Egner. I don't know why I keep saying Teamager. Team Egner on um, Instagram. She designed Patient and Kind, this cute little sampler. And she had stitched it, I believe, all in black. And then Ginger Shull did her own color conversion and changed it to the pinks, the red, and the green. And um, I use the exact same colors as her. I, um, you know me with my greens and I, sometimes I just feel like I need to change colors. And I was like, I'm keeping it exactly the same as hers. So this is what I have got started so far. So all I need to do is the rest of the alphabet. So it has Dave and my initials in there, 
and I absolutely love this one. And it is stitched on 28 count mushroom. And this will go in um, our bedroom. There's a couple I want to do um, for uh, him and I. Okay, the next next one, which I got this last year, and I'm like, I'm since I'm not doing spring stitching, though yesterday I had a little um, moment of weakness, and I was like, I was looking through pictures, and I'm like, and my husband, he was like, you're not decorating for Easter this year, and I was like, because I didn't last year, and I do have tons of stuff, I just wasn't feeling it, and I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it this year either, I'm just not feeling it, and he's like, but you have a granddaughter, and you have kids coming over here, and they love the decor, and you have to decorate, and I was like, and so for a moment, I was like, oh, I don't know. So I might pull out all my old stuff that, I, that I've already done. But um, so a brief moment, I thought about maybe doing some spring stitching. But I have so much other stuff that I really want to do, like for the my house and for in here. So I'm like, no, let's just get take another year and focus on what you really want to stitch on. So this is one stitcher by um, Luminous Fiber Arts. And I love this one. It's so cute. And so this is what I have so far. And I love just all one color, it's fantastic. And so this is stitched again on 27 count um, Linda fabric. And I am using Schoolhouse Reds by Gentle Arts, which I have used before and I absolutely love that red. It's one of my favorites. So that one is super fun to stitch and it goes by quick um, when you're only using one color. Okay, and then my last whip that I did give some love to was, was the Autumn Love. Not as much as I would have liked to, but I did spend a couple days on it because I really wanted to get, you know, something done on it. So I was able to finish the Scarecrow and I started with the border down there for the house. And so the big part, the house is the biggest part. And I was like, I'm just gonna leave that to last because I just want to stitch the small ones. And I'm like, no, you better tackle that now and get that done and then you can do all the little ones around it. But I absolutely love this. So I am, like last time I talked to you guys, I made goals for the month, um, you know, of kind of what I wanted to do. And so I did keep with this one. Um, I didn't get to the sheet virtues, but I did my Sabbath stitching. I got one prairie schooler done. The only, one of the only things I don't think I did was, um, I did not get to start fall on the farm yet. Um, but that's okay. I'll get around to that. Um, okay. A little, a couple things. I gotta move stuff closer to me. A couple things that I did um, find so the other day, um, it was McKaylee and John. Um, McKaylee is Chase's girlfriend and then my son, John, um, because Chase was at work and we all love Dutch. Um, so um, we went and got Dutch brothers and I was like, do you guys wanna go? They love going with me, they'll go anywhere. And I'm like, well, I need to go like to Hobby Lobby and I need to go to the Dollar Tree. And they're like, we'll come. I was like, this is awesome. So um, they came with me and we actually, the Dollar Tree by my house does not have a lot of stuff. And I have seen all this farmhouse stuff that is amazing. And so I'm like, let's, I think there's a Dollar Tree by the other Hobby Lobby. And we went there and it was like, it was amazing. It was like everything I wanted. So, um, for, um, these are just cute little thing. They're cute little wood pieces. I mean, if you like the farmhouse, you can put them on your finishes. You can put them, um, you can do so many things with them, but look how cute these are. Or I think you could even make like a banner, like a hanging banner. <clears throat> I also found these cute little houses, which actually I had seen, if you, um, if you like the Dollar Tree, there is a Facebook group and it's called Dollar Tree Farmhouse. And they, so they make the cutest, they have cute ideas. So somebody, oops, I think had put one of these in here or you can put this and then they put like a bow and stuff on top, but you could still stick a small finish in this also. So I thought those were really cute. Um, I also found, I mean, they're these tiny little boards, the little easel. 
definitely I would take, I would take off the clip and I would take off the bow, but you could put a small little tiny finish on there. You get one little chicken or one, or you could spray paint it and put one little Valentine's Day, a little heart thing in there, anything, but again, so cute. Okay. Mm, let's put that over there. And then you guys, so at this, this big, wonderful um, Dollar Tree, they have the tins. These are much bigger than the other ones I have. And I want to, they're, they're not the same, but if you want bigger circle finishes at the Dollar Tree, they had them. I was like, so I just got two. They will not fit um, the, uh, they're too big for what I used the other ones for, which was the Prairie Schooler um, Barnyard. But I like them because I thought if something else is bigger, then those are perfect for it. And it could just be a big ornament on your tree. So um, I think there's a, it, it's like a Dollar Tree Plus. I don't know. I just found a better one and I was like, I'm going there all the time now. <laughs> okay, those are, so there's a little bit of an Abilene for you. Um, let's get, I'm going to share um, some of my haul and then um, a little bit of stitchy kindness. And then I'm going to share with you my plans that I have for, um, and some ideas for um, February stitching. So some of my haul I got, um, so this was made by Jody, and she is Simply Stitching Ocala. And so she was selling these, um, she made some, and then she was selling them on her Instagram page. And I came in kind of late and most of them were claimed, but this one was not. And I was like, well, that's the one I want anyway, because it has chickens and it's a little Oort bag, which I have never used, if Anna can attest to it, that I just throw all my floss all over the table. And then at the end of the night, I clean it up. So I've actually been using this, but I brought it out. I cleaned it out and brought it in here. So I will link, um, yeah, she's on Instagram. So I will link her, um, I will put her Instagram name in there. Um, and I believe when she makes them, she just posts them and then you can buy them. But how cute is that? So that was one thing I got. Um, I did get some fabric and there's a couple more in there that match the, um, the chicken club, Cornelius. So I bought a different, a couple different ones because I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. Um... I don't really know what to do with this stuff right now. Uh, <coughs> okay, let's, okay, so this is something else that's just fantastically cool. Let's see if I can figure out how it goes. Okay, so Anna had um, mess messaged me, and or we were talking, I'm sorry, and she goes to a stitching group um, up in California where she lives with some girls, and they had these. And it's a book stand, but um, but it's tiny. So do I have a pattern here that I can, a small one I can put in there? So it's a little one that holds your pattern. And they have different colors. Of course, I wanted the pink um, and they are on Amazon. So when she told me about them, I was like, that is so cute. I need one of these. And what's great about it is it folds down so you can pack it away like in your bag when you uh, go stitching somewhere. But it's just, it, I, for me, it works really good because I have my side table and then um, it makes it, it's just a smaller one. So I don't have so much clutter all over my table when I'm stitching. So I did buy that and I will put the link to that. Um, but yeah, Amazon, $10 and they have, she got a really pretty teal one, which is really, um, I really like that one too, but they have all different colors and they work, they're great. Okay, some other haul that I got. Why is, okay. I did get the Tweety Bird, Tweet Birds, Tweet Hearts, Tweet Birds by Heart and Hand. That was a new one. And this also uses the same colors as Tiny Town. I know I will not get to this one this year, but I had to get it. I did buy the new Lori Holt stitch cards because those are so cute, cheap. So I will be stitching them up. Um, what else do I have here? I didn't have a lot this time. Um, let's do this one. I got <clears throat> Faith in Stitches series, Hope in the Lord by Teresa Kogut. It was a PDF, but I love it. 
for my Sabbath stitching. And um, this is another Sabbath stitching one. And this is by Sweet Wing Studio. Um, and it's called All You Who Hope. So I will be changing the colors and different fabric, but I really loved it. Okay. Um, this was my last thing that um, I, and it's actually free. And it is by um, That's So Kelly, Kelly Stadola. So she has a new series coming out this year and it's called the Kel Kel Etudes series. And the first one is Be Kind. So it's, what does it say? In all ways be kind. And she's going to have a new one each month. What you need to do is you need to, um, you can find her on Instagram or you can go, I think she, it's on her blog. You need to sign up for, to be on her email and then you will get this. I think they've already mailed this one out, but I believe I read that if you sign up, even if you sign up now, then you will get the previous ones. Don't quote me on that, but, um, it's just a new series and it's all in one color and I love it. And if you have a bunch of all 12 of them together, which are probably going to be really amazing because um, I absolutely love that one, um, go check that out because it is free <clears throat> on her if you're part of the newsletter. Okay, so that's all of my haul. Not a lot this time. I've been behaving. <clears throat> I got a couple of things from Stitchy Kindness I wanted to share. Um, so this sweet lady Denise she sent me a sweet card she sent me this which it's got a bunch of prayers or bible verses on it which I love and then she sent me a book that um about praying for your um your struggling child so um I cannot wait to read this and then she made me this which I love and I think she said this was the first pillow she ever made and you did an amazing job it's so cute absolutely love it so thank you so much Denise for the book and for thinking about me and make taking the time to make this for me I appreciate it so much and then um when Fiona was over the other day she has fallen down a new rabbit hole <laughs> and she is making I think there are they I wrote them down what are they thread floss drops, thread drops, what are they? Oh, they're, they're like floss rings, but look, she, um, the vintage Santa she gave me. And then this one with the baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph, and that will be for my Sabbath stitching. And then she had a bunch of others and she was like, you can take any of them that you want. And of course I went for the other vintage Santa. There's a glare there. Um, so that's her new rabbit hole that she has gone down and I was like, okay, I need to go down that rabbit hole too. Let's make some of those for fun. Um, so she's going to bring all the stuff over and I'm going to order a little bit, um, of those and we're going to do those together. And my last stitchy thing, um, kindness that I got was from Amanda Badger. Um, she is in the Facebook group and I posted that I was looking for this pattern and, Obviously, it's not available hardly at all anymore. I've never even heard of, it's Mary Gary's Sewing Cabin, but I wanted this Santa down here. And she, um, she had found it and sent it to me, but she also sent me this amazing case. And it says, all I need today is a little bit, bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. And she makes these, you guys. And so there's the inside. And so it has another verse in there. And look how cute. And her shop is called Soulful Creations. And so she does have a website. I will link it in the, um, in the show notes too. So thank you so much, Amanda. Was not expecting this and I absolutely love it. And all of my, um, whatever I'm working on for my Sabbath stitching is gonna go in here. And that Christmas one, I cannot wait to start. I'm dying. Um, that's probably gonna get done this month or in, in February. Okay, so let me share with you some February plans that I have of what I wanna do in February. Um, the first, I have one stitch along that I do wanna participate in. And this is by 
Um, Primrose Cottage is hosting it. Nettie, it's Stitching with Mom. And they are stitching, um, what's it called? All Things Grow with Love. So I do want to do this one. I am going to be stitching it on um, the called, oh, I'm going to stitch it on uh, taupe, light taupe, 28 count light taupe. And the stitch along um, begins on February 9th. Um, so, and then they're doing a section a week. I do, will I keep up with it? I'm gonna say no right now. Um, Cause I have so much other stuff, but I at least wanted to give it a start and try to do a little bit as I go, as I can. Um, and then that, again, it has initials and it'll be for Dave and I. Um, another one, I'm sure most of you have seen the new hands-on design, her freebie one that she puts out every year um, on their anniversary, and I love this one. So um, I got the colors. I think I'm going to do it on the white um, Monaco. And on the bottom part right here, it is, they use, pre, 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 oh, I can't say it. It's paper. Pre, perforated paper. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't have that. Um, so I thought I will probably um, just stitch the little bit on here um, on the white fabric, the same little thing. And then I will just, I mean, it's going to be like a little tiny um, sticky board and mount it on there and then put it on the felt, which I found some felt at um, Hobby Lobby when I went there. So I actually want to get started on that today. Um, even though it's, you know, it's almost February. Um, I also, during February, I want to start the farmhouse one by the housewives. And I know that's a lot of white. I did go, when I was talking to Anna, I'm like, can we stitch this on any other color with like different lettering, color lettering, because it's so much white. But I really like the look of it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I love the barn. I'm not sure if I'll use that exact same color, the barn door. I might do a different one, different color red. And instead of that house, I'm going to put a barn on both sides. Just because I like barns. So that I will be doing this month. Um, another one. Oh, I love this. And this is the 2023 Collectors, Collector's Heart. I love this so much. And it does come with the floss and the fabric. Um, it's linen, so of course, I will not be stitching it <laughs> on it. But, um, I so I will be stitching mine on the 27 count Linda fabric. And what I'm going to be using is Ripe Melon, which again is another color that was from, um, uh, was with the Tiny Town. I, I this is my, it was one of my new favorite pinks. I believe Emily from Primrose, I think she's using Ripe Melon too. I'm almost positive. And um, she's stitching hers on a pink blush fabric, which is really pretty, but I can't get that right now. So I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with the Vintage Country Mocha because I think that the pink stands out so beautiful on it. So I'm gonna start that and see if I can, you know, make some good progress on it this month. I also have been wanting to do this, and this is Gather by Katie from Primrose. Um, I will, um, they, it was called for DMC um, 310, but I am going to use um, Black Coffee by Classic Colorworks because I like how it's a little more faded in and out of the black. So I'm, I want to stitch that one this month. And then I have, this is an old whip. Um, it was in my Ada stitching days, which I still stitch on Ada sometimes, but it was this one. And what is this one called? This one was, you could turn it into a bag. Um, that's not what I was going to do with it because I don't want to make bags, but it was this one, the hands-on design. Love my stitching. And so um, it's been sitting in my whip pile over here. And I did use, I believe I used the same colors as Kimberly did on this one because I loved the pink and the blue because those are my two favorite colors. So I would like to get back to this and get this done so I could put it up in here. 
So I just, I'm trying to pull out a couple whips at a time of things that I think that, um, you know, I'm gonna, I can make some progress on. And then the last thing that um, I am going, I'm gonna start stitching. Well, so um, Fiona, Anna, and I, um, we are gonna be stitching this, the three of us together. So a, when I first started watching Floss Tube many years ago, um, I believe it was, I don't remember who the, the floss tuber was, um, cause it's been so long, <clears throat> but what she did is she had a stitch piece and then her friend, I believe she would give it to her friend and her friend would stitch on it. And I don't remember if they both stitched the same thing or they were just putting stitches in, um, each other's projects. And then when Lindsay, um, I know when she went to, um, her retreat, she had stitched on somebody else's project. Um, and I don't remember if they stitched on hers too, but it reminded me of this when, um, way back when um, the, the person, these people, friends had traded back and forth. So I picked this pattern. Anna and I have wanted to stitch this for a really long time. So I just threw it out there to both of them. I was like, hey, what about we, all three of us start this and we, we all get it and we can start it like in, um, we can start it this month. And then when Anna comes in March, then all three of us can put stitches into each other's piece. And then um, Fiona had the brilliant idea of like adding our initials somewhere in here. And I absolutely love that. Um, and thankfully they were, they were like, yeah, we want to do it too. I was like, good, thanks, good. Uh, you know, here I had this plan and I was like, I hope they want to do it too. And I think it's just some, I love it so much because it's something that the three of us, um, it just, a treasures, um, it's something that'll be stitched by the three of us and just a remembrance and, uh, you know, a treasure of our friendship. So, um, it's just an idea if anybody else, again, not my original idea, just remembered it from a long time ago. If you want, get a pattern that you and your friends want to stitch. And if you have to mail it to each other or when you get together and you put stitches in on it, um, then you have something of, you know, the two of you, three of you, four of you, however many um, of all of you together. So I really like that idea and I'm excited to do that. Um, so yeah, Anna should be here in March. Fingers crossed, because I haven't seen her in a really long time. <laughs> okay, so that is it for today. Oops, except for we have some giveaways. Since it's my four year floss anniversary, we are gonna have some giveaways today. So, um, the question for the giveaway is what will you be stitching on in February? Um, so I've kind of shown everybody what, um, I've been stitching on, but I want to hear in the comments about what you guys are going to stitch on for your February plans, because I might need to stitch on it too. Um, it's all about enabling on this channel. And I do want to make one point, um, on my last giveaway, which was a while ago, um, there was, when I announced the winners, there was, there's like a, and it's been going around. I've seen a lot of people having to deal with it. There is like a bot that goes in and tells you, it goes and it can hit every single person that's commented and it will tell them that they are a winner. And to please, um, it's like telegram them. It is a scam. I did address it on my um, Instagram and I think I put something at the top of that, that video. I had to go, thankfully I was able, you have to block them and you do, and you get rid of, and then the comments will all go away, but it hits every single comment. I was like, oh my gosh. So my son Chase actually taught, you know, was like, we figured out how to um, block them and then all the comments came off. So if you do see that, know that I will never tell you to telegram me. I always will announce the winners on the video. So um, hopefully that doesn't happen again, but I've been seeing that this week, in fact, that there's been about three other floss tubers that have had to deal with the same thing. So <clears throat> just remember that. Um, so um, the question again, what will you be stitching on in January or in February? Okay, so let's do, I have a few giveaways. Let's do the first one. You're gonna get love notes by Brenda Gervais and a cute little pair of scissors. So that will be number one. So you're gonna answer the question and then here's number one. Um, Number two, you are going to get 
both of these um, St. Patrick's Day patterns from Primrose. So this is number two, if you like to stitch St. Patty's. Number three, you are gonna get both of these patterns, winter patterns, and of course, a cute little matching pair of scissors. So this will be number three. Okay. Um, number four, you are going to get the cookie cutter ornaments by the Sew Emma Club. And you're gonna get a cute little, um, I've had these for a while, and they're by stitching along, and it's a little um, scissor fob. So you're gonna get, this is number four. <laughs> Hope I'm right today. One, two, three, yeah, this is four. Number five, you are going to win the pink stand, the little book stand um, that I shared before. So this is number five. <laughs> Counting's hard. And then number six, you have a chance to win the snow globe. Um, everything's in there that you need to make um, an adorable piece. So number six, and this is by Paisley and Polka Dots. And thank you, Julie, for um, sending these to me so I could share them with my viewers. Number six. Okay. <sighs> That's it for today, you guys. Um, so thank you so much for... Um, sharing and spending the last four years with me. Um, and hopefully um, more videos to come. I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, sometimes I just need little breaks here and there, but um, I am doing much, much better. And I hope all of you are doing really, really well. I cannot wait to hear what you guys are stitching on in February. Um, um, also the Facebook group, feel free to join over there. I'm not gonna lie, I have not been keeping up with that very well. Um, but I am trying, I'm gonna go back now and try to um, participate more um, and keep up with it um, to keep it um, a little bit more exciting. Um, so I hope you guys have a good couple weeks. I will be back in a few weeks, probably three. Um, that'll give me enough time to get some more stuff done and um, get these things to you. So I hope you guys have a good few weeks. Um, have a great Valentine's Day. I'm sure I'll be here a little bit after that. Um, that is my, my baby, Chase, he's going to be 20, so I cannot wait for that. And um, that's the anniversary of when my hubby asked me to marry him. So it's just a good day. It's one of my favorite days of the year. So um, I hope you guys all have a great Valentine's Day, and I will see you guys next time.